so from our our study findings show that we will see um, in our analysis a low point of the LME copper price at around five thousand nine hundred seventy five dollars per ton mm -hmm. uh, so five thousand nine hundred seventy five dollars per ton as a low point this year but then we'll see a more positive uh, outlook for 2016 and 2017 which should gradually take us back up above the seven thousand dollar mark by 2017 as an average price over the entire year so our forecast is basically for this year five thousand nine hundred seventy five dollars as an average price for the entire of year of 20, uh, 2015 Yes, I mean we are around the uh, you know the six thousand or probably slightly below uh, that number at the moment. But generally, yes, we'll see continued um, uh, lower or weak prices uh, in copper. And I think it's a broader theme if you look at the overall commodity sector that you know prices not only in base metals but also in the agriculture markets. And obviously, the big theme is the the the, the oil market uh, you know price slump that we've seen. Uh, over the last couple of months, you know, so that's still also dragging the the broader commodity complex down. I think that's one thing that ties into that is that a lot of the you know the investor base, which you know a lot of them invest in you know commodity index funds, which are very heavily linked to oil. Mm -hmm. So a high percentage of your index performance is going to be linked to oil. So obviously now, oil coming down from a hundred dollars to you know in, in in the mid 50s or low 50s at the moment. You know th that's obviously dragged uh, all those um, uh, vehicles which allow you to 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 um, trade the commodity market or take an exposure in the commodity markets down, and that's obviously led to a lot of outflows from that sector, which then obviously translates into a negative price impact um, on the copper market. Copper is currently in a situation where we have strong mine supply growth. And we have a weakening demand. We've seen China slow down. We've seen lower. Uh, China only grew in terms of copper consumption in 2014 by 7% this year. In the previous year, it was 9%. So we are seeing a slowdown um, in consumption from a country which accounts for 44, 45% of global copper consumption. So it's obviously the key story in the copper market.